and today I have a tutorial on this beautiful Dior palette called Sun Deck. It is limited edition. You can get it at the Dior counter or Sephora now carries it as well. So it is limited edition. So I highly suggest you guys go out and pick it up. It is absolutely gorgeous. If you like those warm, earthy tone shades, then you will like this palette. The one color that made me buy it is this orange shade right here. It just completes the look. You can wear it so many different ways. You can wear it all over the lid. Today I used it just in my crease to kind of give it some warmth. So yeah, it's a great palette. Every time I wear it, I get tons and tons of compliments. So if you guys want to see how I got it, then just keep on watching. So I've already primed my eyes with my MAC uh, Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. It's what I use every single day. Can't live without it. But I do like to uh, use a, ba a different color on my base sometimes. So I'll be taking this Milani Shadow Stick in Champagne Toast. It's just a gorgeous champagne uh, color. Perfect for all over the lid. And we're just gonna put that all over our lids. So now we're gonna take this gorgeous palette and we are gonna take this taupey gold shade right here and we are just gonna place that all over the lid. I'm using my Stigma's E40, love this brush. And we're just gonna place that right in the crease for a transition color. Now this color is is shimmery but it's not too too shimmery so it still works in the crease so then we're now we're gonna take the Sonia Kashuk number 106 and we're gonna take this shade right here and it's kind of like this gorgeous champagne gold color and we are gonna place that all over the lid so with my MAC 217 brush I'm gonna take this darker shade in the palette it's just a really deep dark not black, more of like a espresso color. And we are gonna put that and concentrate that more on the outer portion of the eyes, right in the corner. Now when I first bought this palette, I thought about using this shade here all over the lid, but I'm going to do something a little bit different, and you can wear it all over the lid, it's beautiful that way too, but I'm just going to take a little bit of that uh, standout color in the palette, this orange shade, and I'm going to place that on the in the crease just above the dark color. So this color is pigmented. And we are going to use this and just slightly bring that into the crease and blend that dark shade in. So I want to deepen up that corner just a little bit more. So I'm going to take this MAC 210, a little small pencil brush, and we are going to pop that in the outer V. And we're just going to deepen it up a little bit and smoke it out a little bit more. So again, we're gonna take that orange shade in the palette and we're gonna place that in the same, same place, just in the above the crease there. And back with the 217 with no additional product, I'm just gonna go in and blend any harsh lines. Back with the Sonia Kashuk, we're gonna go in with that champagne gold color and just add a little bit more onto the lid. Just because we lost some of that while we were blending in all the other colors. Then with the E40 again, we are gonna just blend all those colors together just to make sure there's no harsh lines. I like to do this at the end. Now to highlight the brow bone, we're gonna take the lightest shade in the palette. It's just a matte cream shade and we're gonna place that on the brow bone. That's so pretty. So off camera, I use the NYX slide-on pencil in Golden Bronze. I absolutely love this shade. So what I did was put it on the top lash line and added it in the waterline. I just think it gives a beautiful golden bronzy look to this palette. 
and it's something that I've been liking to do lately instead of using black. Now I'm going to take this flat shading brush and take this dark shade that's in the palette again and just apply that right at the bottom of the lash line. Back in with the orange shade, we are just going to pop that in the middle and start blending that out. For mascara, I'm using this Alme One Coat Get Up and Grow. It's okay. I don't know. I, I know a lot of people really like it. For me, it's just okay. So, you know, sometimes when you use mascaras, they're not good in the beginning, but the more you use them, the better they get. I kind of feel like this is that type of mascara where in the beginning you're probably not going to like it but then after a while you just kind of grows on you and it just works a little bit better maybe it's dried out a little bit more so I'm just going to add some mascara to my bottom lash line So Sonia Kashuk came out with a brush set, a four-piece brush set, and she had a contouring brush in here that is very similar to the Ida brush. It is a bit smaller though, um, but every time I go to the NARS counter, they're, they're always sold out of it. So, But I always use my Bare Minerals, which is very, very similar. I have showed it before in my videos, but I've been really enjoying this brush for contouring. I think it's absolutely perfect and for the price I think I paid around $24 for four brushes and all four of them are really nice. So I'm just going to use my Hoola bronzer, one of my favorite bronzers ever and I'm just going to use that to contour the hollows of my cheeks. Like look at this, can you guys see that? This brush is so nice. And don't forget to do the forehead. Now I'm going to take this blush by MAC called Modern Mandarin. I absolutely love this shade and I think it goes perfect with this look. So I'm just going to take my e.l.f. angled brush and just pop that on the apples of my cheeks. So because of the smokiness of the eyes, I kind of want to keep my lips pretty neutral. So I'm going to take one of my favorite lip combos at the moment. This is um, a MAC lipstick in Enchanted One. It was from their MAC Alluring collection. It's a dark nude. This is a matte formula, but I don't know, like this is actually very nice. It's very creamy. But I really love this shade. I think it complements my skin tone quite nicely. And over top of that, I'm going to use this Buxom Gloss in Celeste. Oh, I can't get enough of this gloss. I absolutely, I just love it. It is so pretty. It just does something to your lips. And it is great with this color. So I'm just going to highlight my face. And I'm going to use the Bobbi Brown in Apricot. Yes, it's a color that I talk about a lot on this channel. But I'm sorry, I can't put it down. It is just gorgeous. So I'm going to take this big fan brush and just put that right above the cheeks here. I love applying highlighters with fan brushes. I just think it just does a really nice job. And that's what they're for, right? This brush is really nice because you can even contour with it if you like. But I like to use it just for highlighting. And whatever's left on my brush, I like to just bring it down the bridge of my nose because I don't like adding too much in my T-zone area. And I'm going to take this, these two shades up here with my fingers and I'm just going to pop that right there, yeah. And just blend that out with my brush. Just makes your lips pop a little bit more. Then I'm just going to go in with those two shades again and I'm going to pop that on the inner corner to highlight.
So I just want to apologize for the noise in the background. I had my kids playing in the living room, but I wanted to get this tutorial up for you and just show you guys the look that you can get with this palette because I think it is amazing. I think it's worth getting. It is limited edition and you can get it at Sephora now. So yeah, I hope you guys can get your hands on it. And if you do, I hope that you love it just as much as I do. I just can't get enough of these colors. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.